blessings, peace and blessings. Let God's grace, let his mercy, let his adoring favor fill your day to be obedient to him, to look past this world and look at him, to look past the things of this world and to look at him for he is our God worthy of praising. Now, family, it is your brother Jehoshaphat Israel here in the house that God has made. Now, as you look at this picture right here, this is the Civil War. These are our, our grandfathers and our great uncles and our great brothers that went and fought in the Civil War. Now, they were probably, they probably, they probably joined on their own self, but my whole thing today is why send a boy to do a man's job? Now look at these look at these brothers right here, family. This is the Civil War right here. All these men that you see across here. Okay, that brother right there, he might be 26. You know what I'm saying? 26. But as you look at all these other brothers right here, they are all my age. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the last two brothers at the back, those two, they look kind of young. But for the most part, these are all men of war, men of valor that decided to fight for their country. I wanna make a I wanna make a deal with the United States of America. Before you go out and send my sons to fight in a war that means nothing, you would have been better off asking a man. You know what I'm saying? You would have been you would have been better off asking men of my generation, any man from the age of 35 to 45 to fight in your useless war. I don't understand America. When I was, when, okay, the draft age, 18 to 26, if you don't fight in the army, they, they say two or three years, no, they're going to put you in prison for like four years. And then when you get out of prison, they're going to give you a fine of $250,000. You know what I'm saying? A person working in the United States of America, blue collar, uh, minimum wage, probably only see $250,000 in their whole life with all their money being spent on taxes. Now, when I was these young men age, from the age of 16 all the way to 23, I always had an active warrant out for my arrest. So anytime from the age of 16 to about 22, 23, uh, the, the, what is it? Um, California Superior Court always wanted, the, the Supreme Courts always was looking to lock me up. So now, 20 years removed from that, now you want to send my, my kids to prison? That doesn't make any sense to me. Why send a boy to do a man's job? I would rather, I would rather go fight for your army than for you to send my children to fight in your war. You sitting there picking on people that are, that have no maturity. They're not men like that. You know what I'm saying? They're not men. They, don't, they haven't reached the age of actual maturity to be a man. Just because, just because you can have sex with a woman doesn't mean that you're a man. You know what I'm saying? It even says it in the Bible. It says that our young people have a low consensus where they really don't understand. They have a, they have a, a consensus. We have a conscience because we are mature. So before you want to draft these young people in a war that is futile and useless and really doesn't mean anything because you're sending people to war to fight for a country that don't care about them, you know what I'm saying, that don't care about them and been using and abusing them the whole time that they've been here. So before you try to draft anybody into your army, you just need to ask men of my, of my age range because we would rather go fight in your army than to send our children.